was today see what we can agree on. Um, based on reviewing <coughs> your proposal, we have several that we would like to consider tentatively agreeing to. Uh, we only have, a, because they're your proposals, we decided to table up any and mm -hmm. just made a couple of copies. Um, but the first one is Article 3, matter of fact, here, we can give it to John. Right? Yeah, I'll just mark them. We've all got it here. Okay. Unless you can. Okay, this is for signing purposes, so why don't you take a look at them and. This is Article 3, Association Rights. We're taking out the 60 days and 90 days and keeping the 180. You insert it after a written request. That's okay. That's our proposal for C2. Right, including part. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you haven't seen what I'm going to do. <laughs> you don't survive 50 years in this business by signing stuff. Take it on by yourself. No, no, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> We added that center, and now it's become a challenge. Oh, we did you? not. Um, oh, okay, we're good. Okay. Here you go. So. that we're ready. Uh, this is Article 3C4, where you are getting rid of the trustees, I said these two, yeah. Mm -hmm. Trustees of the Association Health and Benefit Trust and the trust meetings. Thank <laughs> you. 
This one is related to Article 7, Number 2, Taking the Headquarters. is Article 7, uh, Item C, regarding investigation guidelines. What number? Uh, number C. C. It looks like on there. One above the other one. Oh, oh, it's above the other one. Clean everything up. Clean the clean concrete. Up. So that's it for areas that we have we've agreed upon. Um, if you want, I have some other items unless you wanted us to pause and you wanted to. Um, about them. Okay. Uh, you gave us uh, on Article 13 I don't think there's any problem with O okay. but after we had a conversation there are problems with P uh, Henry, do you want to explain? Because if you're one of the people that's impacted by it, we took it out. It looked like you could yeah. take it out, but turns out you can't. Okay. Right. There's, uh, I think, three or four lieutenants that fall under the uh, the acting of this provision in P, okay. and and that's due to the uh, I guess the increases the the acting time is counted into your time for uh, uh, for your step increase. And those step increases are still in effect. So in fact, if you took O out, O P out, then those lieutenants will lose that time and therefore will not be entitled to the step increase at a certain time. You can take O out. Right. You can take P, 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 P still, P, 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 P
I said it was about right. a seven month fee. Right. I didn't really, and eventually it'll run out. Yeah, it's I the documentation timeline that could, if, if an issue came back okay. and we had to go back in time for an explanation as to why did this happen and we take it out now. You don't have anything. Exactly, to exactly. It's four of them. Right, Lieutenant Gray, I think Lieutenant Hooper, myself. Uh, there was four lieutenants that were, uh, yeah, uh, had nine months of acting time acting while time. I was promoted. Okay. So it would take nine months away of you know, credit for my next step. Yeah, we don't need to get it. No, and then we got to go back and do it again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's good. Let me make that. Is this article under promotion? Going to other than that, right. you're you're comfortable. So, are you guys going to consider countering without it? I mean, or you want us to consider it? I, I'm a, I'm okay. Just if you want to bring us a TA on O, then we're okay, okay. with that. Okay. salary and benefits on the health care issue. Okay. We <clears throat> we will try if you'll contact Randy McGraw. We will try to get Randy I just know his schedule and what he can do for us. He doesn't have to come but to get him to review the whole health care language, tell us what needs and to look at these proposals and give us his opinion. Um, and then we'll prepare you. I, have, I don't have a lot of heartburn with E, but I'd want him to look at it. Okay. Uh, there is one typo. Should I tell you or just? It's not excise, is it? No. Okay. I don't want, I don't want you to have to look for it. I'll okay, tell you. so just <laughs> tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Although I got the time. <laughs> Federal and state laws, there's no apostrophe. <clears throat> Uh, Thank you, Bob. And I wouldn't have put a comma after Affordable Care Acts, but then I'm not a grammar major. Okay. It just pops up on my computer. Uh, I'll look at that. We have some language, uh, and I'll take a look at some other agreements on the trans on the Cadillac tax. Uh, you know, at minimum, there would be some form of a reopener for the parties to look at. You know, if in fact that happens, what the costs are, and what the plan adjustments need to be. I mean, we're cognizant that that's the law. We're cognizant that there's cost if in fact you hit it. I don't think you're going to hit it. You wouldn't even start to 2018, uh, and we don't know what's going to happen. There'll be a new president, two years in office by then. So, as far as if it happens, then they would have to be some form of a reopener that allows. The the, the association and the city sit down and determine what happens with the tax. I will. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have Randy look at it and then we will count. Okay. But I'm just telling you that's conceptually mm -hmm. what we'd have to do because then we have to determine what happens with the tax. How do you adjust the plan to get below the tax? I don't think it's going to happen here. But anyway, we'll look at it and we'll give you a, a count. And the other one was uh, in the same article, but it was your uh, captain's language. Uh, and I think we just, we just didn't have, we'd like to hear kind of what you're, what you're thinking there so we can make some type of decision. We didn't really spend a lot of time talking about adding the division assistant chief. 
to those reviews. So. The, the, and I'll allow the commander to yeah. also share, but um, it seems like the, the real key is not allowing the chief to, I don't want to say be burdened with it, but if there's a division <coughs> of the assistant chief to handle this issue, um, it will be better to allow that division chief to be engaged. We're not getting rid of the chief. It's the, it will be the chief or that division assistant chief, but just allowing the, the chief the ability to work on other issues um, while that division chief handles that issue. Um, you can add whatever else you want to. It had more to do, Ron, with, uh, with Chief Simpson was wanting the, the district chiefs and the commanders to take a more active mm -hmm. role in running their divisions that they were responsible for and to be involved in it. And so in this case, so the chief, if you're really going to evaluate a captain, he has no information on a uniform mm -hmm. captain, which is where new captains get sent. He would have no knowledge. It would come from the commander or from an assistant chief who may be a little removed from it. So it was kind of pushing it down to, as a lieutenant um, evaluates his officers and a captain evaluates the lieutenant, the next mm -hmm. logical thing for a captain would be the commander or the assistant mm -hmm. chief. So at this point, the Simpson was kind of moving towards the assistant chief being the, in charge of his division, evaluating his captains to okay. know how, so when they get to this step that they would move forward by some conversation. Not with the chief who had no information about what the guy was doing or not doing. Okay. Does anybody on our team have any questions? Anybody in? Okay. Just want to get a clarity. We'll talk about it when we conference it. Okay. Um, anyway, that's all you had given us, and I think it's those three. Okay, I, I know, but right, I mean that. Right, that is true. Okay, that's that, that. Well, okay. So are you shifting it back to me? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Um, we have a counter on um, what to consider a counter to your Article 7. Boy, there's a lot of disciplinary action. No, you're gonna verify it, so. No. Oh, this oh, is yeah. Okay, here you go. I'm giving you an hour to have one. If one to uh, uh, to last. Uh, okay, so Let me just kind of, you probably can see it, but you actually provided the language under, in blue. Mm -hmm. And we, I'm just trying to get it here. We are interested in adding the language in red. And what we're basically saying is that if the, uh, the city and that aggrieved employee agree to attend mediation prior to the arbitration process, then the 14-day deadline for requesting arbitration will not start um, running until the mediation is conducted. And if the aggrieved employee in a city attend mediation after the arbitration process initiated, then we would like the applicable deadline for either side to be abated until that mediation is conducted. Okay. We'll, we'll add, we'll talk about it and okay. give you an answer. No problem. So okay. I'll yield back to you if you like. Um, 
that we would like. <clears throat> We've given you a set of proposals, and I don't know if you're prepared to speak to any of them. We do have questions on a couple of them. All right. One of them is in reference to, here's another Article 7. Number four. Okay. Um, it's in reference to this is a received written notice to appear. We need an understanding of so what's the issue? What what are you trying to accomplish here? Something must have occurred for you to want this language change. Help us understand what the issues are. Uh, so I don't think you'd come up, come up here or just pull a chair up to the end if you want to. These are things of which Celeste has been working on. Okay. So I'll have her come up and be our fact witness. We'll see how factual she is in a second. Okay. One, of the, one of the problems that's been going on with uh, internal affairs and dealing with discipline is that the officer is not receiving a copy of any complaint unless there's contemplated discipline. So it's very late in the process that the officer is seeing, that is seeing the complaint. And what, <clears throat> what we're requesting um, it is for them to see that earlier so that they have a better sense. We also were working with Chief Simpson because he wanted every single person that came in to make a complaint on an officer to have to sign and have to have the ability for perhaps going back on them if they perjured themselves. And, and um, so that's what we're asking for, you know, to put, to put um, a little more of a burden on a complainant to come up there to be honest and truthful and that the officer would actually get to see the complaint. Uh, prior prior to giving his interview. He he receives the notice to come in to give a statement at Internal Affairs. He receives 48 hours notice, okay. so the complaint would be issued with that. Usually what Internal Affairs does is they sort of write their own synopsis of, of what the allegations are. Okay. Um, sometimes we ran into problems when it was an internal complaint, um, and that's something that Chief Simpson agreed with. If you are a supervisor and you have issued a um, a complaint on an officer, you ought to be willing to put your name on it. And that had not been happening. So it was sort of, there's a complaint issued by CCPD. Well, who? And an officer should be able to know who, who is filing a complaint on them, whether it's an inside complaint, an internal complaint, or an outside complaint. And so um, um, that's, the, that, that's the reason for that. And we've been working with internal affairs, and I will tell you, They've already implemented this. They've already been doing this. Um, so I just went to Internal Affairs yesterday, and they have attached a copy. Um, so what we worked with um, Captain Brady over at Internal Affairs is to make sure this wouldn't be an onerous process, that it would be something that they could do easily. And so that's why it's just attached to it. Okay. Just a question, and just as a layperson here, mm -hmm. not being in the industry, when I see the term, uh, the statement, the allegation, I know, the complaint shall include the name of the complaint. Is it complaint or complaint? Oh, it should be complainant. Okay. Oh, man. Whoa. I did Who did that? I, I copied your stuff. <laughs> I guess I did that. I guess that would be on I'm me. I'm not taking responsibility. <laughs> Okay, I just thought you did that out of meanness. <laughs> you pointed out that one deal on law. I had to you bring up a comma. Now we're in grammar. <laughs> this is going to break down over grammar. No, go ahead. All right, you're okay, correct. Okay, so the English teacher on the board. I know. <laughs> okay, so as a lay person, how does this affect a lay person that files a complaint against the police? Um, would someone, if I filed a complaint against a police officer, mm -hmm. would they know who I am? We have always known who the complainant is if it's oh. an outside complainant. Okay. Um, <laughs> but it's the internal complaints. Um, and actually, I think it's just the software they're using because when, when we were having these meetings, they didn't realize that the officer didn't know. Um, but but, it, but it, wasn't, um, it wasn't coming out. 
until the very end of the proceeding. I assume they swear a complaint here? No. Policy wise? Yeah. No. Do they well, swear? Well, here's the issue. So I walk into the department and this officer was rude to me. What do they make me do? <laughs> well, right now it is, it's audio recorded. Okay. So they're not actually writing out a complaint. It's audio recorded, sometimes video recorded, but usually just audio recorded. And then they are signing a sworn statement that everything that they said was true. Was true. So <laughs> we're not asking for the whole audio. We're not asking for anything like that. Just, just the sworn statement. And what Captain Brady has been doing is just generating a form that Internal Affairs completes and says, this is the name of the complainant, this is it. So, so that it's simple for them. So you're saying what is being proposed here is actually working now? Yes. It's, uh, it's in practice Yes. The, the, the probably the biggest issue was the internal complaints that the officer could not see on what was given to them who the complainant was. And a lot of that is just a new system, the whole blue team new, new system of, of documenting. A lot they, they may actually have been able to if they knew how to get on if they knew how to get on the system and look it up. Um, but this will make it easier for everybody. Yeah, and okay. the complaint we're talking about is the first page of that correct. Right. The screenshot they put Exactly. In. And and that's what they're attaching now to the notices to appear. So if this is something that is being done now, it just started. It just started. Because of our because of our contract, I mean, because we were starting to deal with the discipline and internal affairs, Chief Simpson had sort of created a committee on the okay. uh, PD side, administration side, and we dealt with them on what would work. And we worked with internal affairs to make sure that it was, you know, we didn't want to put something in there that they that was really going to cause a lot more work. Okay. So if it's being done now. Why would you need to change it? Yeah. So you can't change it. Right. Yeah. For the future. Okay. And and when I say it's being done, it's been done once. We've had one okay. <laughs> since since we. <coughs> it. So. Um, because you already have language in the contract now, right? Well, the 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 issue is they are not receiving a copy of the complaint in practice until they are given. Um, contemplated discipline. So that's that's pretty far down the road. And usually they review that an hour before they have their what you call a mill hearing with the chief to talk about their punishment. So it's 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 our department is is a, a little bit behind other departments where other officers and other departments do receive a copy of the complaint. So they, they know what the I mean this is just basic civil rights where you know what the complaint is against you. You want her to explain five while we're on it? So how did you know that that was the next one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but before we... Well, there's a... Yeah, um... We do which room y'all were caught sitting in. I know. We got, <laughs> we got to change the room. You better got to move around. Um, so you guys don't have any questions on this item four? So you, we can transition right over to five. Okay. Because that, that is a question. So help us understand why you... I think I have an idea now, but we would like to hear from you. Um, this issue was also brought up by um, by the chief and by his command staff that our officers should be entitled to see. At this point, um, mo a lot of our officers are wearing body cams as well as the dash cams in the in the vehicles. There's a lot of video evidence. There's a lot of audio evidence, and um, what they wanted to have consistently. Um, done by internal affairs is to allow the officer to review that before they give a statement. And let me just add, if, if you're dealing with um, somebody that's complaining that there, there was excessive force, you're already going to have an arrest, I mean, you're already going to have a lot of documentation that the officer has completed. So um, this would just allow them to see what type of video or digital evidence was created in the case so that they have an opportunity to see that. Um, prior to giving their statement. So this includes all video, whether it's engaging them or not, 
for all video it would pertaining be to the, the incident. The incident. Yeah. And, and the reason it's, it's broad is because sometimes when an officer pulls up to a scene, perhaps his unit is, is not really recording the scene. There may be another unit, someone else's unit. It may be from uh, the sheriff's department. It may be from an outside agency. 7-Eleven, Walmart. Or 7 -11. Everybody's you know, got a camera. So it's not always the officer's um, uh, recordings. So that's why we had to make it pretty broad so that any, any video or audio or digital recording could be viewed or listened to by them. By them. Any questions from the team? Based on the comments that you shared on both items, um, I guess number four and five, we'll deliberate and mm -hmm. right. You want to go on down to the next one, T, and you? Is there also in there? Any questions you have on those? Unless you want to tell us. No, no, I mean, I just want to make sure, since we're in discipline, sure, do you sure. have any questions? I think we explained a little bit last time what the purpose of those were. Those should be things of which clarify for both parties. Okay. Those were, um, well, it's not that the next time we might not have a few more questions as we um, complete our counter process. Okay. But at this point, the rest of the item seems clear enough to us. Okay. I think we need to come up with some counter language. Okay. Giving you all the proposals, we're just waiting on your answers. Yes, no, counter. So you've completed all of your proposals? No, there may be some more, but okay. that's everything we've given you hasn't been responded to by the city. Either, well, that's so. absolutely. I mean, we've given you probably 90, 95 percent of what we're going to put on the table. Okay. Um, but based on what the city does, we may, you know, may have to counter it or come in at a different direction, but we don't know that. One thing that this is probably a good time to sh uh, share with you, we will have um, probably, I wouldn't say the remainder of our proposals, but probably um, the majority of the proposals remaining to be placed on the table will more than likely be placed next time. Okay. Um, there, there are some logistical issues that we needed to work through before we could okay. um, place any more issues on the table and or counter. Okay. But just know that um, the majority of the remaining should be on the table next time. Okay. We were also trying to see if you had more that you were placing on the table uh, prior to us submitting. Uh, probably when we break, <clears throat> which we can in a little bit, I'll take go down the list with the team okay. and see if there's anything today we want to give you but we'll make an effort to try to put almost everything on the table by next week. Okay. I think you have the bulk of it right now. There's okay. a couple of small things that internally we haven't decided whether to add or not. Okay, and, and that's that's good to hear. Yeah. Uh, as we deliberate and right. put in our final items together. Uh, and I know that the next time we meet is yeah. next week, yeah. and I think that will be the fourth session, yes. and I know we probably at some point need to determine a few more dates Yes. Um, because the fifth is the one that obviously everything needs to be yeah. on the table. Okay. But well, we can work on dates today if you wish. Oh, that, that, that would be good. Uh -huh. um, but yes, it would help us to, to get a sense of yeah. if there's anything. But you're saying that more than 95% of... Well, I'd of say so, pretty much. Okay. There's a few small things we still haven't decided on, but okay. we'll have you a clear picture by next week. Okay. But we definitely intend to have 
the remainder, a good share of the remainder yes. of our item. Okay. And if the, on the fifth session, if there is anything that could be won, make it. Okay. But the, you'll see the bulk of our counters and um, what we want to put on the table. All right. So we can do one or two things. We can finish for the day, or we can caucus and see whether or not there's anything else. I don't. It's up to you. Well, the real key is if you're saying that the about 95% yeah. of your items are on the table. Yeah. I mean that that's good enough for us at this point. Okay. Um, We're just waiting on replies. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and rightfully so. No, no, I, yeah. We, 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 we intend to. Let the response on a couple of Yeah, well, let's caucus for a few okay. minutes. Okay. Unless, you're, you know, unless you're in a hurry. No. <laughs> I'm getting paid by the hour now, so my, pay, <laughs> my patience has gone way up from when I was salaried. Yeah. Now, yeah. I'm very patient. Yeah, you've been for days. But we can just talk about anything. I'll make no money on a quick trip. I'm sorry. <laughs> salaried worker at Thank the end. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> salaried worker at the end. I'm sorry I left the salaried employment. All right. We'll call you. Okay. No let problem. you know. It won't be too long. Okay. Are you waiting on me? Yes. We All are. right. Um, I sent you one deal. Uh, Celeste cleaned up your little mediation deal. Okay. And so I've sent it to you electronically. Okay. And then we'll put it in our stuff for next time but so you can okay. go ahead and look at it. Okay. Uh, I know that uh, Jeff and Scott have met about the indexing. I guess here's my question. If we're going to keep the index, which would be our position, whether or not we delay it at any particular time as we've done in the past and just took flat raises and keep it, then we really need to get the index done. It's, you know, it's supposedly done in March. It's a year back anyway. But I would, and I know it takes time and they have to work with Jeff to do it, <coughs> and I'd like to get maybe some timeline at some point of when that's going to be done, because we need a baseline as to what the index shows. Where's everybody at? Where are we at? And what it looks like. And I know it takes time. People sure. have things to do, but you know. So at least by the next meeting, give us some thought of when <coughs> if we're going to do it. Then, then I need Scott and the time, Jeff's time to start doing an index. And I think by the next meeting, you'll you'll know where we are. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that the one? Yeah. Okay, we did have one question. It's your, let's see, <coughs> it's under a, so your proposal under association rights. Okay. Um, it's Article 3. C5. This okay. is the one where you're currently, um, you have a pool of 300 hours right now that's being used for association delegates to attend convention mm -hmm. seminars. And um, I really do appreciate the information that you provided, Scott, um, on that. It gave us some understanding, especially with the other, that that's really what clarified the other. But with you wanting to move from 300 hours, and you talk about a pool of hours, um, you need to probably help resolve our little internal question that we're having. This pool of hours, is that from your sick leave pool, or is it a separate group pool of hours that the city makes available? The city makes available. We, we needed to settle that. Yeah. No, there are some contracts where it is out of sick leave, but this is but this city one? provided time off okay. to do so approved activities of which they notify the chief and he okay. signs okay. off that that's an acceptable. Okay. Um, so the, the 
and, and I know the information you provided indicated that you want to get a little more engaged in community events. And yeah. But talk to us a little bit more about the move from 300 to 500. Now, that's, that's, that's a big jump for us. Um, help us understand why you would want to make that much of a jump from 300 to 500 hours. Now, I do know you indicated that I think some of your people may not even be attending your conferences or seminars, but talk to us about it a, a little yeah, bit more. Talk. Yeah, yeah. Um, one, one of the, so when you say some people won't be able to attend, um, there may be, coming up in June, there's what's called the leadership. Okay. And so, um, 10 officers may go and it is something that we work very close with on the department so we don't pick officers all from the same shift where we just devastate an entire shift and nobody goes to work or they have to pay overtime when we attend these events uh, we are very conscientious about who's going so that it doesn't put the department in a bind and that i can recollect and, and i think ron would agree that we've never taken people where the city had to pay overtime to fill the void. Because that's okay. the first thing I thought right. about. Right, and so it's it's uh, it's done strategically, and so if 10 officers go and it's a two or three day event, and they're on 10 hour shifts, and that's uh, 30 hours for each officer, well then that 10, that drains the entire pool. Um, and then we may have the cleat convention, or we may have a function um, that, that we're going to attend or, or we've got some um, non-profit fundraiser things that, that are on the horizon that we're ready to kick off but we don't have the time in the pool okay. and, and it, so it minimizes what we can do because a lot of the time these events are during 8 to 5 okay. and so that's when the officers are working and so we need that that flexibility to have that time to be able to do these type of things, um, right? And so, and several times the mayor called and said, "We've got some bad bills that concern us in in Austin." Scott, can you go up and meet? And we testified before um, the committee. If I have that flexibility with that pool, then. I can take another officer or two that goes, and we, we do double or triple duty where we may be in two or three other committees. Because as a rule, when we're going up there, whatever we're testifying to or working on, obviously it's not only beneficial to us, it's beneficial to the city, yeah. And so it gives us more flexibility, and uh, as times change, there's more and more that, that we want to be able to have access to, and, and therefore it is beneficial to everybody at the same time. Okay. Would you happen to know about how long you guys have had 300 hours in the contract? Don't quote me, but I think 300 increased in 20, it went up to 300 in 2010. 2010. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not 100%. That, that's no problem. Two to 300. Yeah, I think so. Any other team member have any questions? <coughs> that was the only um, question we had at the end. And as mentioned uh, before, our goal is to be able to provide you counters, mm -hmm. remains and counters, and to place uh, as much as the remains mm -hmm. items of ours on the table okay. during our next session. Do we want to take a few minutes and look at our calendar? I think it, each week things get filled in. Yes. <clears throat> and I'll see who wins in the runoff or whether I'm bargaining in San Antonio again. Well, I'll be bargaining one way or the other. Oh, so you're doing San Antonio? Yes, I've been there over a year and a half. There's something in the paper this past week on Was it? Police and fire. Oh, they're waiting on the outcome of the runoff. That's right. That's right. Well, the city sent us a deal to go back to the table. But the manager was just posturing. There's no point in doing that until we know who the mayor is. Oh, Cheryl Sully. Yes. Yeah. Okay, 
So we know we're meeting next week um, here. The next probably two or three meetings, we would love to be at your location if you guys are good with it. Okay. Okay? okay. But you guys probably have to check your... Right. Um, because we would have been over here three times. <coughs> okay, so June 4th is our next meeting, which is here. Um, I will say that the week of the 8th, I do leave for a conference on the 11th, um, which means that we probably, the 9th is a council meeting, so I couldn't do that, but um, is the 8th or 10th good for anybody? Oh, I'm open both. I leave on the 12th for a week. On June, you're talking about? Yes. yes. Uh, the yeah. Clean Leadership Conference right. is June the 10th. I June 8th, I think, is, is open. Is open. Yeah. It is for me. June okay. 8th? Yeah. You guys talk to me if you have issues, okay? They got issues, but you mean about the dates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't have to. I'm looking over here. <laughs> I don't know all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know some of them, huh, Andrew? Don't laugh, sir. There's a few of us in Monday. Have issues. We have issues, okay? We're, we're working on it. Okay, now we, we must understand that June 8th is our, is that's the fifth session. And that's the last day to put anything on the table. That'd be fine. Um, now let me look for a minute. I gotta look strategically at something here. Um, well, it's the last day for new proposals. Yes. My counter. Right. Um, so what's wrong with the tenth again? They're at a school where oh, well, we, we leave that we until that evening. Technically, we could because we don't meet till that evening. Right. So okay, we could use the tenth if you wanted to. If it, if it was necessary, it works better for me because I have to come down the night before, right. and I'll miss Game of Thrones on Sunday, and I just don't want to do that because <laughs> it's really tightening up right now. I actually have something I want you to see, but. I think we should still do it. it the 10th or the 8th? The 10th. The 10th. Um, <coughs> the 10th. Right. We might not be able to go all day, but. That's all right. So will you check your. We're checking right now. Okay, okay. Keith, this is available. I'm asking about the 10th now, so. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we're talking about June, possibly June 10th. 9.30 still okay? 9.30 works. Yes. Okay. Or if you need it earlier, because you might have that meeting, you have the meeting at 1. Right. We're open for that as well. You know, we're doing pretty good, though, in moving things along. Um, yeah. And plus, we're right down the street. So that makes it much easier. Yeah, if you guys you disagree with everything we've presented so far, we can go. Works with. best that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd be done in an hour. We get a 10. I'm sure. Did you want to pick a date after that? Yes. Um, 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 well, go ahead. It, so you're at a comp. Well, you said that that you're going. I'm gonna leave the 12th on my motorcycle because my wife's going to the beach, and I'm taking off to go up, try out my new motorcycle. Okay, so that'll be a day yeah, or two. And the next week, I have bargaining in McKinney on the 22nd and Cedar Park on the 24th. But then I'm open the the 25th. What about the 15th through the 19th? I'm yeah. gone. I'm oh, going to leave on the 12th. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take off for a week. Okay. She's gone, I'm gone. So the week of the 22nd, <laughs> what dates are you not available? I've got bargaining on the 22nd and 24th. I can bargain on the 25th because Cedar Park's just the opening day of ground rules and I drive up that night. So I'm open the 25th if you want to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm good. If you're, you're booked the 22nd? Yeah, I'm bargaining. That's my last day in McKinney. We're done. Let me look at one thing. Hold on. No, I, I can do the 25th. Okay. 25th? 25th, you guys. We can always adjust them if something happens. So June 25th. She said she was taking her on the to June. So the 10th and 20th, you want me to call her and find out what's, what's going well, on? Well, RG, if, if the hall's not available on the 10th, 
We could check here. Check here to, yes. as opposed to changing the date. Okay. Um, we'll find a spot somewhere. Sure. Um, Deanna will check for the 10th. The 25th is being checked now? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. So the 25th will also be at 930? Yes. At the POA? Yes. All right. Do we want to stop there for now? It's up to you. They're all paper. Let's let's give one. Let's get one more. All right. Is it the fourth to the tenth, and the twenty-fifth so far. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> I'm pretty um, open after that because I haven't looked ahead on the others. Now the week of the 29th is is that the holiday week? Twenty-fifth yeah. is the middle. Okay. okay. So well, you don't have the holiday until the, the next, end of the next week. Now, isn't that the one that it were actually closed the day of the holiday? No, we're actually closed, I think, July 3rd. For the holiday? For the holiday. For the holiday. I think the city is actually closed yeah. that day. Well, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. But we're not. You know, we're, we're open. <laughs> well, you've got to go. Okay. About, this is the best place to what be. What about July 1st or 2nd? Second? Uh, Tuesday. Martians come down. Second might be, might be a challenge. Now, you guys said the second real fast, so it must be good for you. July 1st? For uh, July 1st is fine with me if it's good with Ron and everybody. It's okay with me. I'm pretty uh -huh. open in July. Yeah, the third is the city holiday. Okay. Oh, sure. And usually that Thursday. Everybody's people, taking off. Some people. <laughs> so you're doubling down for a long weekend? So July 1st sounds really okay. good. Okay. You yeah. guys good with that? It works. And that could also be at the hall if that's if that works for you. Yes. 9.30? July 1st, Wednesday. I think the only one that's in question right now is June 10th, the location. Correct. June 10th right? is Metro Ministry, Scott. I guess it's the mobile clinic. Yeah, and that'll start at probably 2.30. Um, so is June 10th the one that we need to be? Hmm. Uh, I think that's the one that I need to be done by 1. Yeah, June 10th is the one I need to be done by 1. Okay, well, we can, we can still do it there at the hall, then. Yeah, yeah that'll work. So, Deanna, we're, you don't have to check the 10th. Okay. July 1st is the middle one. Okay. So, all of the, the June 10th, 25th, and July 1st, all at 9.30 a.m. at the POA Hall. Yeah. June 4th is the, the, the one here. Yeah. Okay. 10, 25, and 2. No, one, one, one. one. Oh, one. Oh, I put it on my calendar correctly. I just okay. Yeah, I got it on calendar correctly. So that'll cover five, six, and seven sessions. All right. Okay. That sounds like I can buy some new stuff for my motorcycle. I put four more down. <laughs> Sorry. No. To work it for salary. <laughs> but you got to be sixty-five and be retired. <laughs> That's bad. All right. Okay, so we're gonna we thank you, in. and we'll get our cleaned up. There's a few things, and we'll be ready to go.